haven't been in this fight at all as we suspected. Now on board with the eight car of Buemi. He's not on a quick one here. That was a very laconic downshift in that beautiful V8. Now he's starting to build up his power. It's not right on it here. Listen to the throttle application. Stay right in the middle of the road here, Seb. Now cut back over the top of the brow. Have to wait for just a moment as you come across the brow to put the power on. The back end of the car goes very, very light there. Now turns right-handed. They take a much shallower angle into the final corner. Mark Webber is exiting the number 20 car, Louise Becker tells me from the pit lane. A minute and a half to go, this lap, and just this lap for Buemi, he will not get another... Ooh. He goes pole. He's got to pole. He's, pole. He's got to pole. He's just made it. He only needed to get down to a 27-something, and he's done a 27-1. He, t he takes two tenths, I said that's all he needed, and he's taken the two tenths, and he's taken Paul and Andy Davidson, and the rest of the team go absolutely wild, and Porsche have had their pull pinched by Buemi. What a disappointment for Mark Webber. They sat there, they played the hand that they had, and they didn't go out. I don't understand that. I don't understand why they would not have had Mark Webber out there on that final lap ready. I'll be honest, I didn't think that was going to be quick by Buemi. He didn't. He's in trouble. <laughs> They're delighted, aren't they? He's Absolutely in trouble delighted. when he gets back, said Anthony Davison. I think they may have called Buemi in. Because the other car came in and he stayed out. <laughs> 